Yo, what is going on YouTube? Back here on this Madden 15, playing in the New Orleans Saints dome, playing against the New Orleans Saints. I got the Seahawks jerseys on and man, man oh man. If there really is a superstition about the Seahawks jersey, then this game has, this game must prove that it's real. Playing against this guy, he has Adrian Peterson, the final edition Eddie Lacy. He has uh, Kellen Winslow, Ultimate Legend. He had Calvin Johnson, Ultimate Legend. He had the RG3 July 4th. So coming into this game, I knew this guy was stacked. I was uh, as that right there. Kellen Winslow goes up and gets it one-handed over. Haha, -ha, Clinton Dix. So first drive, he's moving it all on me. Adrian Peterson goes for about two yards. So on this play, this very next play, I decide to go man to man, and I see, I see who it was going to. Kellen Winslow. I. <laughs> I saw I saw that coming all the way, and I get the user pick with Khalil Mack. So we're starting to, we're starting our position at our nine yard line. We're starting way way deep back, and on defense this guy was stacked. I think he had Lawrence Taylor. He had the July Fourth Ronnie Lock. He was packed on defense. He had the ultimate legend Deion Sanders. So of course I was worried, but you see me dumping it down to Greg Olson for a little bit of yards. First and ten, handing it off to Marshawn Lynch. That is the team of the week. Marshawn Lynch going beast mode. Second and four. Dumping it off to Marshawn Lynch out in the backfield, and I just ran out of bounds. I ran out of bounds. I did not want to take that chance. So on second and six, I decided to go deep up top. Dangerous because he has Ronnie Lott there, but he doesn't jump. That was not Ronnie Lott. He had Deion Sanders there, but Deion Sanders did not jump. So on first and goal, I'm rumbling, bumbling, stumbling with beast mode, and he dies in for the end zone. So I strike first with the seven to nothing lead. My opponent gets the ball back, and there he goes, dumping it off to Kellen Winslow. Pay close attention to that play right there because he was running it over and over again. He would switch it and have Kellen Winslow going to the outside, and the very next play have Kellen Winslow going into the inside. So I paid attention to that play, but on first and 10, RG3 breaking loose from out the pocket, getting about six yards. And on second and four, I thought I had AP in the backfield, but he spin moved out of that tackle for loss. So on the first and 10, my opponent drops back and going deep again, but Ha Ha Clinton Dix is there to secure the interception to stop that drive from going any further, getting us the ball at the 20 yard line. So I said, I know what I have to do. I have to establish the run game. Just keep handing it off to Beast Mode, who is my best offensive weapon. And on second and five, Hitting him with the main screen with Devontae Parker. And if I would have just done one simple move, I probably would have took it all the way as I have blockers. Second and 10, seeing Greg Olson wide open. I'm moving the ball on this guy, even though his defense is way, way better than my offense right now. But I'm establishing the run game. I'm mixing it up with pass and run. I'm not just sticking to one play. And I hate when people do that. I hate when people stick to one play. I hate when people stick to one play. I got very lucky that play, but Kenny Steele's getting real in the field. Was able to concentrate on that ball, make sure he caught the ball before he made a football move, and streaks his way all the way into the end zone. But like I was saying, as my opponent goes way up top, and I hope they really fix this on Madden 16 because there's no reason for this to happen. I understand it's Calvin Johnson and he can't do that in real life, but I mean there there was like three defensive guys there, so I hope they really fix that next game. But I've been playing a lot of people recently who stick to one play, and it gets very annoying. It gets it makes the game not fun. It takes the fun away from the game. It really does. And on 35, I see that play coming. I saw it all the way. Getting the user pick with C.J. Mosley this time. So Khalil Mack and C.J. Mosley, they both have picks this game. They are both all rookie linebackers. So we're, we're going into the second half. I have a 14-0 lead. At this point, I'm not worried. I'm just establishing my run game. I'm not trying to go for the knockout punch. I, he hasn't been able to stop my run game all game. So why go away from it? And still, you see it there. Getting another first down with Marshawn Lynch. First and 10, deciding to mix things up. Hitting with the with the pass to Greg Olson and Greg Olson hitting it with the mean juke. And on third and four, I thought I had something here, but it wasn't there. So we're gonna play it safe. We're just gonna we're just gonna punt. I don't want there's still a lot of time left in this game. I don't want him to get the ball back, drive down the field, and have still have him have a lot of more time to tie the game up. So on first and ten, he's way back on the four yard line. Adrian Peterson breaking too many tackles, fumbles the ball, but of course my defense doesn't pick it up. I've been seeing that a lot this time where the opponent fumbles the ball and the defense just dies on the ground for no reason or no reason whatsoever. And on first and 10, Deion Buchanan just got beat. Just got beat deep by Kellen Winslow. First and 10, I'm trying to make sure that he doesn't score. I'm trying to, and if he does, I want him, I want him to score when, when it's the fourth quarter. 
so I could get the ball back and try to take a little more time off the clock. Second and two, handing it off the AP. Ha ha, Clinton's there to stop him in his tracks. And on first and ten, dropping back, I saw it coming. I saw it coming, but I got shook out by Donald Penn, the out of position tight end. I got shook by Donald Penn. I'm not going to lie. I admit it. Second and three. Oh, my gosh. If he would have gotten that ball out, that would have been a touchdown to Kellen Winslow. Third and three now. Trying to skip the pocket. I had that QB contained to make sure to keep contained on the July 4th RG3. And now fourth and 14, just chucking it up. He's running out of options, just chucking it up. So we get the ball back. First and 10. Established the run game. He hasn't been able to stop Marshawn Lynch all game. Why why go away from the run game? Second and 10. Mix things up. I thought I was gonna get I thought I was gonna get sacked there, but some way, somehow. Jameis Winston finds a way to pick up more than enough to get the first down, and there he goes. Marshawn is going beast mode on the defense, and it's just, it was just this game where everything was going good. This game, nothing went wrong. I was making smart choices. I was making, I was playing within my game, and I was playing how I how I know how to play. And on second and ten, finding Greg Olson again, getting tackled down by Ronnie Law. First and goal, dropping back. This was a bad play to call in the red zone area, and I knew that. Wasn't happy that I made that play call, but on second and goal, running out the pocket, he's he's pass committing a lot. He was pass committing a lot, and I just ran it in with Jameis Winston. And it was just one of those games where everything was going well. I made smart reads. I made the smart choices. And on first and goal, my, my opponent drove all the way down the field. He finally scored with 20 seconds left in the game. So I did what I wanted to do. I accomplished what I wanted to do. I came here in New Orleans. I got the win. Even though his team was way, way better than mine, I played within my range, established the run game, and used Marshawn Lynch as my secret special offensive weapon. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. More Madden Ultimate Team coming on the way. Hopefully, I will be saying more Madden 16 Ultimate Team coming along the way or uh, Draft Dynasty. But as always, this is your boy, Energy Commentary, and I'm out. Peace.